Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and check it out. Check out the amazing graphics that I have for this new computer, guys, with Russian fishing for everything. Everything, everything. Take a look, guys. I'm going to go ahead and show this. Everything is set to superior, except for that one. Everything's in superior settings, full screen, best mode possible, guys. We are doing so awesome with this new computer. Still getting more than 30 frames per second. And the only reason we're getting that low is because it's raining. But it is raining, and raining is a good thing, guys. Now, normally that means I go for tench, but... You know, I've been really in the mood to do some fishing for some grass carp. Which also means I'll be going for some more gibble and some more crucian. So I'm going to go over to, there's a spot over here that I've fished at before, I've shown it before. But I'd like to see it at this graphics level too. Before I go over there, I think I need to come in here and check the bait situation. I want to make sure, just in case, that I have enough cheese. Let's see here. There's no more cheese. Oh, good lord. Stuff is always running out of stock. Well, I'm going to go ahead and grab some more cabbage leaves just in case. Because if we're going to go for some grass carp, we're going to need that. I'm going to probably need a little more corn. Because I kind of have a system. And what we're going to do here... I'm going to come over here too and just check, see what's at the cafe. What kind of orders are here? Hopefully there'll be something for, well, there is for tench. So we might do a little tench fishing too while we're over there real quick. Because it is raining. They only want one, but if we can get anything between 800 and 2.3, we're going to get 13 silver for that. Other than that, it looks like Crucian Carp. We give like six of those. We might be able to pull that off, honestly. We might be able to pull that off. Alright, let's go over there and see what we can do then. Let's see if we can't make a few orders here. Um, wait a minute. Did I get turned around? Yeah, I did. Where the heck am I going? Oh, wait a minute. There's a few things I need to get the grocery store. Uh, don't think they have the spices here. Now I'll take a look. Yeah, it's out of stock. I think I have to get that from one of the other maps. So comfort's going to be a bit of an issue, so we might have to buy us a little bit of this vodka. Not the most wonderful thing to keep yourself warm with, but you know, you got to do what you got to do, you know. <laughs> got to be a little bit on the warm side. Alright, we're going to grab... I'm going to go ahead and grab a little of this canned pork. And I think that should do it. At least for now, anyway. Alright, we are going to head on over there. I'm going to grab a little munch here. Because I'll get some of that kolosh. And once we get there, I'll go ahead and drink the vodka because that'll make me comfortable. But since it's early morning, I think we're going to start off looking for a few tench. And then we'll move over to the other side of the weeds. And try to see if we can get us some crucian carp and try to make these orders. we got to get six crucian carp. That's usually not a problem over here. So... If you aren't already familiar with this area, in one of my previous videos, this is the area that I'm concerned with. Right here, we've got a lot of brush and cover here, and it's an awesome spot. Okay, I'm getting a little lag for some reason. I'm not sure why. It's probably this rain. Uh, 
All right, now here is a good tench spot. And right over there in that uh, scum or whatever seems to work really well. So let's go ahead and get our rod set up. I, I usually have a system with this. So, all right, let's go ahead and set up my palmer rod. Put that at 30 retrieval, 22 friction. I've already got cheese on it. Well, that's a little bit hard to throw. Let me try this again. That's better. Yeah, right there is a real good spot. Tench seem to be pretty heavy right over there. Alright, now for my second rod, which is my Asteria, I'm actually going to put corn seeds on here. They've been going for the corn seeds off and on too, so just to be sure that I increase my tench chances, we're going to throw that on there. And my frame weight went just way up since the rain stopped. Let's come over here a little bit because I kind of like to keep the rods in order. Uh, we're already getting a bite. Whoa, okay. Let's just go ahead and put that down. Boy, that didn't take long. Wow, nice. We might have our tench. I think he just had to be bigger than 800, or maybe it, was a, it might have been a pound. I'll have to check. Come on, come on, come on, don't get off of there, you. You get off of there and I'll come out there and kick your fitty little butt. guys it's not looking like a tench yeah it's common cart damn oh well we'll try that again what a bad common cart not a monster but not a bad one all right and for our first rod the old Sorrento. I think what we're going to throw in there is maybe some peas for right now. I was going to say I was a little far. Make sure I got the settings on there the way I want, and then we'll set it to... But guys, with all the excitement I had a minute ago... Oh, the sun's coming out. Okay, I did set it right. I wasn't sure... Wasn't sure if I had set that the way I wanted it. Alright. Now, we're going to try to see if we still can't get that tinge. Now, the only thing is, is the sun's out now, so that could change everything. But it definitely will increase our chances for getting grass carp. Which is another thing I wanted to catch while we were out here. So for now, I think what we're just going to do is we're going to sit here and wait. If anything happens, I'll bring you back. I think I might go dig some worms to kind of keep myself busy until something jingles. <laughs> this is always fun. Which one will it be? Which one will it be? Okay. Alright, he is 
Okay, I got him. I was a little worried that I had a feeling he wasn't very big. I've been getting a lot of roach to past couple of days around here for some reason. Well, let's see what happens over there. If not, we can just... Oh, somebody is interested. Alright, let's see. Yep. We got him. I think he's been on here a while because I didn't cast it out that far. What do we got here? Another roach. The roaches are out in droves today for some reason. The rain is starting again. And something was biting here, because look, look, you can see the see the little circles. Brown Yesteria. Come on, guys. This is tench weather. You, you got. There you go. All right. We have got us a fish. All right. Let's keep him. Let's keep adding, guys. Oh gosh. Now the palmer is going off. Okay, this is going to be a fight, guys. It's alright. It's alright. Get the tension up just a little bit. Not too much. Okay. He's giving. He's starting to give. We got him. We got him, guys. He's ours. He's ours. Oh, oh! He's giving one more. He's giving one more run for our money here. I don't think he's a tench. Jim. Shoot, every bit of ground I gained on him, he took. Okay, I think we got him now. Or, I thought I had him earlier, too, though. Damn, he's a big fish, guys. Okay, he's given. Come on, get in here, damn you. Check it out, man. I don't know what he is, but oh no. We gotta cut it, guys. We're gonna lose everything if we don't. Yeah, sometimes you gotta do that. I really didn't wanna lose everything or ruin my line. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Well. Just throw another sinker on there. Put another leader on there. 
Put another number two hook on there. And another corn. I got it. Well, he bested us, guys. And that is life, guys. That is fishing. I didn't want to lose my line and everything. That line's expensive. Take the tension back down to 22 here. Oh well. At least we got another bite over here. That's just whoa. Okay. That's disappointing. But I like to keep things realistic. I don't like to sit there and just only show you my successes because that's not realistic guys not realistic I tell you what let's let's throw a maggot on here see if we can get us a tench interested in this they do go for maggots sometimes as well I don't know what that fish was, but he was big. And he fought. I mean, he was definitely... Definitely in the mood to fight. But I didn't want to lose all my gear there. When it gets to the end of the line, I don't... I usually just go ahead and cut it. Because it's... It's obvious he's going to get away. If he breaks the line, he takes the line, so that's not cool. Alright, we are getting a little activity now. There we go. Oh boy, okay, let's take the tension down. Whatever this is, it's pushing my Sorrento to its limits. that really doesn't take much <laughs> these aren't exactly the biggest of the big oh you little damn I am just not having any luck today lord just not having any luck that sucks Hawkeye is not doing very well and Hawkeye is talking in third person <laughs> I don't do that I'll tell you what guys I don't know what the deal is but usually I get tense here like nobody's business I don't want you guys to sit there and be bored Looks like we got a fish on this. Be damned. Never budged. It's probably like another roach. Yep. Yep. is we're going to go ahead. Well, I keep hitting the wrong button. Sorry about that. And we're going to go over here to the other side. Let's see if we can not get us some carp. I tell you, the carp over here on this side of those weeds are monsters, and that's without a doubt. But let me show you what we're going to do here first. We're going to come over here, pull out our Sorrento, and then we're going to 
put on some sweet dough. Now, I usually use bread dough or sweet dough here because the Sorrento usually you can't get monster fish, guys. It's just a starter, the starter feeder. So what I usually put on there is bread or sweet dough or porridge or something like that because usually you get the smaller guys with that, which is perfectly acceptable. Because if you get Crucian carp, they they don't usually get too big. I bring in a little bit of cash. Now usually for my Asteria, I stick with the corn or peas. So I usually get middle range sized fish. Now occasionally y'all will get a big one like I just did earlier, but most of the time they stay in the mid range size wise. Whoa, looks like we already got one on our... Alright, fine. And I think we got us our first Crucian Carp, which is going to get us well on the way to getting our order done. Okay, let's get those all set up, and then we'll get out our Palmer. Now for the Palmer, I usually do the cabbage leaf because I'm going to see if I can get a grass carp if I can. Now the grass carp I have been having a lot of luck getting them right out there on the other side there. Right about the, well that's a little too far. Right about there. I mean it's been a regular that I've been getting bites over there on the, on the grass carp and occasionally a black carp too so we have got another fish on this I think it's a gibble yep and I haven't even thrown any ground bait in yet I was getting ready to do that I haven't had to do it just yet Uh, I think he got, yeah. He gave up. It's alright. Alright, do we have time to throw out some ground bait? Yeah, let's throw out some Crucian Carp. Ground bait, throw it way out there. There we go. And I'll go ahead and throw all ten of them. There we go. Now we're starting to get into the evening, so things should be picking up a little bit here. Yeah, I always like to do that to make sure everything's good to go. Now at night, I will probably switch the cabbage for potatoes with the palmer. Like I said, when I've, I'm in between and things are kind of slow, I'm back to digging because I want to get my skill up. With this rain, we might be getting some... See what I mean? Put a little light on the subject and maybe we'll get us some red worms and some regular worms. You never know. I 
All right, sounds like we got some activity. Well, we got a little more than just some activity. Hold on, let's see what we got here. All right. What we got here, guys? What we got? Ooh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Gosh, is he big enough, though? I don't know if he's big enough. I can't remember how big they had to be. I don't know if he's... I don't think he's big enough. Shoot. Don't think he is big enough. Well, we'll keep trying. We've got something on this one, too. Hope it's a gibble. We and not gibble, but a crucian. We need crucians. Yes, yes. Not sure that he's big enough either. But I think it was like 300 grams. Now the more we can get, the better. All right. Looks like we got one finally off this corn and I think it's a crucian yep yep and we got another bite yes I think he's within the range for sure hope this is another crucian I don't can't tell if it is he's pretty small oh he's he's not gonna work a little bit too tiny a little too tiny something that comfort's going down fast there we go I don't know if it does much for my comfort or maybe just makes me numb to the cold <laughs> but it give me a little bit of a tipsy bonus so 